Hello today, and today we're going to have a game of Tempest on the Sinclair ZX Spectrum, and this is a game based on the 1981 Atari game, Atari arcade game I should say. Um, so basically it's a vector game, so you're controlling that little squiggly thing going around the outside, and you've got to fire down before those nasty shape things <laughs> come up. Now I have reviewed this on the Amstrad CPC and it was really good. Same similar graphics so I don't know if it was a port or not because it ran quite nicely on the CPC. Um, and I reviewed it on the arcades. Right, I don't think this came out on any other system but I want to see what it plays like on the Spectrum. So Q, E, anti-clockwise, clockwise, what's, 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 What's fire rather? Not space. Right, center and Z for zapper. Right, okay. Push enter. Two player game? I don't want a two player game. Why do I want. Oh, one player game. Here we go. Now there is two different uh, control keys for player one and player two, so I'm just wondering can you play this simultaneously? Well, that'll be a bonus if you can. Now this is a 48k game only. So as I said the premise is quite simple. You just gotta fire before they come up. Now you do have a oh shit it's come up. Right, let's use the zapper. So I think you only get one zapper per level or per life I should say. You get three lives in this game. Now, as the graphics, all the graphics are doing is doing vectors. So it was quite easy to um, replicate the arcade. Right, so that's level one done. So what does it play like on the Spectrum? Yeah, very good. It's just a pity they didn't have a 128K version. Because the sound effects on the CPC were quite good. Shit, they've already come up, so let's use my zapper. Remember you only get one of those zappers per level. Or per life, I should say. I think it's per life or per level. Might be both. So it moves around quite nicely on the spectrum. So you're definitely getting a a good arcade version here. I mean, if you was a fan of, if you played this back in the day, I never didn't play this back in the day in the arcades. Oh, that's level two done. And you can't hold down your control, right? You can't hold down your fire button. There's no rapid fire in this. Oh, they're coming up, they're coming up, oh! Ooh. Now, I don't think this supports joystick. Oh, shit, oh, that was close. Oh! Now, it will be not... Now this is something that the CPC did. It it done it in mode one. It, it had only four colours in this game. But I think it what it done, we used different colours for the um, enemy. So you can see them a lot easier when they come up. Here, uh, I think they're doing it to um, for colour clash reasons, but it's, sometimes it's really hard to see when they're at that bottom. But a CPC version used a different colour. Because obviously the CPC didn't suffer from colour clash. Well, I got off that level regardless. But it's still a good version. I think that's the only real gripe I've got about this version. Maybe they could use a different colour. 
for the enemy and your main your your um defending sprite <laughs> I should say. A little squiggly thing. But as I said, it might be down to colour clash issues, so Bobby will look a right mess otherwise if they didn't do that, so I can see what they why they did it. I mean you can see it when I mean the shapes do go around quite nicely. It, it, it's certainly a good version, I'll definitely say that. Right, so that's another level done, we're doing pretty well. And I didn't use the zappers. Whoa. Whoa, I ain't even lost a life yet. So I'm doing pretty well at this. Oh shit! I lost a life. Why did I say that? So that looks a good way to um, player one rotates. Also does that on the CPC. Probably does it on the arcade. <laughs> Now, I don't think there was a Commodore 64 version of this. That's a sense why I said I think it only came out on the CPC and Spectrum. Oh, let's use the zapper. Right, so let's zap them. Oh, they're coming up quickly. Oh, get up, get guys! Ooh, that was close. Oh, ah, shit! Alright, last life. I'm surprised I got this far on my first go, actually. Well, it's only going to be... I'm only going to have one go, because I've got quite far on my first go, actually. See how it plays. So that's enough to validate a review out of it. Yeah, I think it's a good game. I think it's a good version on the Spectrum. Right. Oh, I, I did. I can use the Zapper. Okay, so you can use the Zapper. So every time you um, get onto a no, new level, no, you only have one Zapper. Okay, that confirms it. So you get a zapper per life, or every time you get onto the new level, you get your zapper. One zapper. Oh shit! That that now that's up there. Oh, I can't go because that thing's up there. So he's blocked my path. So oh, he's gonna you fucker. Oh fuck! It's close. Oh shit! What was that? Ah fuck it! So I think that come up and I didn't kill it, or unless there was two. I don't know. Oh well. Yeah, that's a good version of um, Tempest actually on the Spectrum. Yeah, does the job. Plays like the arcade actually. But anyway, gonna end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.